Hello, all my friends. Oh my gosh, I have the coolest place that I cannot wait to show you. We are going to tour 232 Huntley Drive. Now this place has it all. It's got that 1950s Ernest Hemingway-esque style. It's got four bedrooms, four bathrooms. It's got a boathouse. We're back at Tree Line Drive. You're gonna just have to see it to appreciate it. So come along with me and let me know what you think. Okay, we are at 232 Huntley Drive, right at the road. As you can see, you don't see the house. The neighbors across the street are super duper quiet. Let's go check out this property. Okay, we have entered the kitchen of this beautiful 1950s house and check out this dining room. We've got a ton of cabinets. Everything has pretty much been left to its originality, which is kind of cool. These tilted out windows overlooking the lake. I mean, it's totally awesome. Walking through this double door entrance, you've got this really spacious living area that opens up to this nice large back porch. It's a concrete floor that look, kind of looks like tile. And then nice high ceilings. The board and batten look continues on through out here. And then you can sit out here and watch people out playing on the lake. And it's very uh natural still out here beautiful flower beds big trees there's an osprey that's building a nest out here right now it's truly a very beautiful space let's move on here and let's go into the bedroom section of the house so we've got i would call this bedroom number two and bedroom number three and then they share this nice bathroom, which has still got that cool 1950s design. Everything is very, very uh, in good order as far as working. And it's just so neat that they kept the things the way they were. We're gonna move over to the third bedroom that's downstairs. You can see they've got the pool windows still that we saw in the kitchen. And this cute little shelf that the kids can kind of draw up along here or play with their toys. I mean, it is so cool. All right, and then we've got this shower right here and then a separate area for the toilet. So, Almost every one of the bedrooms have their own bathroom, which is really nice. Except for those two that we first showed you, those share that bathroom. We are gonna go upstairs next. Now this space they're using as their master bedroom. You've got lots of little storage built in here, even up here. I mean, how cool is that? And then you've got the same kind of setup. We've got the 1950s step-in shower along with the separate toilet area. And then this bedroom is overlooking outside. So it's got views of the lake and of the beautiful backyard. Downstairs, and I wanna show you all that this property has to offer. So it sits on like 1.09 acres of kind of old Florida feel. Um, it's got kind of all these cool things all connected by the breezeway. So you can come up over here and this was actually designed to be a guest house. They're currently using it for storage 
but you can see we've got the living area here. You got the closet, these tall ceilings, and then it's got its own bathroom. You know, it's still 1950s. Isn't that so cool? This could be made really quite awesome. Could potentially rent this out. We've got this covered carport area, which you could actually uh, screen this in. And this overlooks this nice big grassy area that the family loves to play football with the kids. I can see Easter egg hunts out there. And then we've got some storage out here in this room. Nice high ceilings, lots of shelves. This is all concrete. And then let's slip on down here. Now the family uses this as a weekender house, but if you lived here full time, you'll probably want to hook up the washer and dryer, which the washer and dryer hookup is right here. It's got a pretty fabulous hot water heater there and more storage. So literally you could either walk this way and still be under the breezeway the whole way to do laundry. You could hang your laundry out. And it looks like they may have been doing that right here on this thing here, or you can drive. And then and there's a outdoor shower here. And then look at all these beautiful trees. Oh my gosh, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're planning on having this as a family retreat, there is good news for you. There is a ton of parking. You see we've got two trailer, three trailers here. You could park one, two, three, four, very comfortably. And then of course there's a lot of overflow parking. This little section here, the family used as kind of like an outdoor nighttime space. This is where you could do your fire, sit here and look up at the trees and the stars. This uh, wooded area right here actually goes all the way to the road. It's still this property, but they left it natural to leave a really nice buffer between them and the road. And out here is the road. So you can't see the house from the road. You got ultimate privacy back in here. So the biggest things about this property, I think, is it's ultimate and serenity. There's a lot of nature, a lot of birds that come here and visit. There's actually an osprey that's building your nest in one of these trees. I saw a turtle laying its eggs right here the other day. It is so beautiful. Now we're on Lake Huntley, which is Lake Placid's fourth largest lake. This is a ridge lake, which means it's got a nice sandy bottom, very clean, clear water. This is a super popular lake for people that like to ski. It's healthy, great for fishing. They've got this kind of little protected swim area right in this little square that they've made. You can see we've got a seawall here. The dock and the boathouse is all newer. Plenty of places to jump off and go take a swim. This has got power out here to it. And as you can see, the boat lift is designed in a way that it can hold a pretty heavy boat. Okay, you've seen it. You've experienced it. What did you think? Tell me, give me comments below. If you'd like to see it in person, reach out. My number is 863-446-0908. And until we meet in person or digitally again, have a wonderful day.